then it was said he was in the health class and then it was brought back and confirmed he was in the art class. And I think I text, I can't remember the time I have to look it up, but, um, I texted her at like eight 30 in the morning. I was like, are you okay? Can you read this? You know, where are you or something small? And I never, ever heard back from her. And, um, we had been sitting there for a while and it was confirmed that it was in the art class and I hadn't heard from her. And they were bringing kids out of the building and they were taking them to the reunification point. And um, I went down there and I started talking to some like SWAT team or police team or whatever. And I was like, hey, I'm a staff member. My kid was in that art class. I haven't heard from her. And they're like, what was she wearing? And da, 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 da. And, um, and then um, one of my students, Isabel, came running out of the building. And Isabel was a freshman. And I had been her driver since um, elementary school. So I really, I really was attached to this kid and her brother. I watched them grow up. And she came running out of that building and I went over and I hugged her so hard that the police thought she was my biological kid. And they asked me, they're like, is she your kid? And I said, well, I'm her driver, but she's not my biological kid. And they're like, okay, you can take her to a bus and get her to the safety point. And I was like, okay. So I got Isabel onto a bus. We were running certain buses with air conditioning to keep cool for the kids that were coming out. And um, I got her on a bus and I got her in air conditioning and we were crying and she was telling me what was going on. And she told me, she was like, Miss Rhonda, I think Kimberly died. She's like, I think I saw her on the floor 